to Michael Jordan about his lack of dunks and his lack of driving to the hole. And he said, you know, there's two reasons why I have not gone in the paint trying to dunk. One name Ewing, the other name Oakley. Makes sense to me. Jordan and Paxson in the backcourt. Pippen up front with Grant and Cartwright. Grant is stopped and foul. Foul committed by Oakley. He obviously sent the message here that if it's going to be a layup, you're going to have to make a tough one. Michael Jordan, and that's his first field goal. The Bulls 12, and the Knicks 9. You can see that New York wants to get it into Jackson's hands as quickly as they can after Chicago scores so they can get into the half-court offense. That time, 17 seconds, but Jordan with the steal. Wilkins able to foul him, and Michael Jordan going the length of the court and stuffing emphatically, but it will not count. If the foul takes place in the backcourt, Jordan gets no free throw attempts. If the foul takes place in the front court, it's a clear path to the basket. The swipe, the steal. Now, where does the foul take place? There. In the backcourt, clearly, good call by the official. They take it out on the side. The Bulls 13, the next 11. The Bulls continuing the pressure. Wilkins with a facial going right at Cartwright. Now, that's the style of play that Gerald Wilkins flourishes in. Open court, scramble and make something happen with your athleticism, and then get to the rim. That's how he loves to play. Jordan for three. Michael Jordan hits from downtown. Chicago 17. The New York Knicks 13. Here's the double team on Jackson. The steal by Jordan. on the reverse and the Knicks again are having big problems with the pressure of the ball right over the half court line then Mark Jackson who's much smaller a good strong trap Jordan with the hand out that gets the deflection and then just to remind those fans that think he may have forgotten how to dunk it no it does a little reverse for you Jordan guarded by Starks oh Michael Jordan again and I am joined now by the biggest and I mean the biggest New York Knicks fan Spike Lee now Spike I know you have been in Cannes at the film festival you flew all night just to come back for this game flew back all night let's see the game today see it tomorrow and then straight from the game tomorrow I have to go back to the airport to go back to the film festival now you must have mixed emotions here you and Michael are very good friends uh, and you're Nick's, Nick's, Nick's all the way <laughs> Nick's all the, way? all the way we'll see about that as the game goes okay. thanks Spike yeah, all right back to you Mark working off the screen. Ewing! Eight points for Ewing. And the next down trail by six. Chicago is led by as many as 13. Here is Pippen. The two power forwards down low inside. Grant Oakley. All 48 minutes. There's body contact. Nothing comes easy on the glass. It's a struggle. Uh, 24. The Knicks at 16 of 34 for 47 percent. Chicago controls the tip, and here comes Jordan. And he threw the stop. Well, mark it down. It's about two minutes past two Eastern time, and Michael Jordan has done the unthinkable. Beginning tomorrow at the special time of 12 noon Eastern with NBA Showtime. Nice save by Ewing. Here is Wilkins. Yes. Wilkins. Oh, a quick step to the left by Gerald Wilkins. He has exploded an 8-0 Nick run at the end of the half. Chicago missing their last four field goal attempts. I think Bill Jackson has to be careful how much he extends this defense and puts pressure on here in the third quarter. Looking ahead down the road to have energy left. Oh, Horace Grant came up big with the rejection. Here's Scotty Pippen going all the way. It will not count. Offensive foul. Wilkins for McDaniel. Shot clock at eight. Oh, yes. They hit a cold spell. A 17-8 run by the Knicks. Repelling New York to the lead. But now Chicago leads by three as Michael Jordan is able to hit on the slam. Pass cut without it. 
and if your teammates are unselfish, they'll give it back to you to the best finisher in the game. Starks for three. Yes. The Knicks have managed to hang in despite the fact they have not received the productivity out of Patrick Ewing. Only five for 14, 12 points. Jordan with the spin. Oh, what a move by Michael Jordan. The Bulls now lead 67-61. So Jordan, Bulls 71, and the Knicks 64. Michael Jordan with 29. He scored 10 points here in the third. 10 seconds remaining in the quarter. Starks, who was looking for three, changed his mind. Jordan from half court. Pippen wide open. Four minutes gone by in the fourth. Patrick Ewing cuts it to a five-point Chicago lead. Oh, a strong move by Scotty Pippen. Wilkins around Williams. Here's Jordan. Scott Williams able to get to the loose ball, but he's followed up Jordan with the recovery. And Jordan is fouled. The basket counts in a foul, and Michael Jordan very upset about the way he was muscled. Xavier McDaniel rotating across, just basically goes after his body to try and stop it. Jordan with the strength, the concentration, and now he is upset because he understands if he lands the wrong way, that could be the end of the season for him. Ahmad Rashad earlier this year had spent a day with Michael and gone through his workout training program and said it's really a difficult one. This guy has built his body up and added great strength to a great talent. I can understand Michael Jordan's point of view. A very hard foul given by Xavier McDaniel. As Michael works with a personal trainer, working only on his upper body, says he's gained 20 pounds. He never really lifted weights before. He was afraid that it would mess up his shot or perhaps slow him down. He said he was prompted to start lifting because of the beatings that he was taking from the Detroit Pistons. Always felt that he was physically drained. Two and a half remaining in this fourth quarter. McDaniel for three. Xavier McDaniel normally does not seek the shot from downtown, but he's brought the Knicks with him six. A fan of defense from the crowd. And it's the first time that New York has allowed 90 points or more in postseason play. It's an offensive Starting at 12 noon Eastern, Cavaliers and the Celtics, and then Utah and Seattle. Two timeouts remaining for each team. Now the Knicks go into their full court pressure, trying to produce an early turnover, or they may have to eventually decide to take the foul and stop the clock. And the Bulls have not shot well at the line. Well, if you go this far down in the 24 second clock, then don't foul now. Dig in, get the stop, and go from there. No sense wasting anything by fouling late on the 24 second clock. If you do it early, that's one thing. Shot clock at one, and it is a 24 second violation. The basket will not count, so the next call for time, they will be down to one timeout remaining. Pat Riley has inserted Kiki Vandaway for his long range touch. Starks. Putting the move on Armstrong. Not the shot he had in mind, and a foul is called on the Knicks. A loose ball foul with the Knicks over the limit. The Bulls to the line. Ewing is called for his four. Bulls went at 94-86. This has been a presentation of the NBA on NBC.